Hello everyone, welcome to the 4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to update your deprecated code by using Drupal Rector. Okay, so in previous video we saw about how to use upgrade status module. By using that module, uh, we uh, listed out all the deprecated codes which is present in our custom or contrib modules. So today we are going to automate it. So when we uh, scan it, it it got splitted like a uh, fixed width rector. So you can see it here. So what are the problems coming here? You can fix this by using your Drupal rector. You don't need to touch the code. Just running single command, it will update your code base. Okay, so let's see how to do that. Go to your terminal. First, you have to download the rector. So download it in your local. So now the uh, library is downloaded here. So you can see that here, window, internet, here you can see it, okay? So once you downloaded, you have to go inside this in the vendor folder and Drupal Rector, you have to copy a file called rector.php file, copy and paste it in the doc root of your website. So it should be presented here. Once it is copy pasted, next you have to run a command to update your code okay so for that you have to copy this command this rector file is present inside the vendor vendor bin rector see here you can see the file so i'm running it copy i'm uh, running this in the module in the module custom folder it's a dry run. Dry run means it will not update your code. It will show you the difference here. You can review it. If you are comfortable with the changes, you can again run the same command without dry run. Okay, you can run like this. So let's do with dry run. So you can see here the difference what is going to happen in this file. So the Drupal get file name is going to change as the service container what they defined here if you are okay with it you can run without dry run so you can notice it's throwing some error right if you are facing like this error you have to add this disable parallel in your rector.php which you copied in your root rector.php open this file at the end here you can add it okay so once you add it when you run the rector again it will not throw that error for you let me run the same command without dry run let it run will open that module modules custom dependent src form form dependent okay file the this one this line okay so drupal get file name. this is the line which is going to change by vector let's see how it is going to change for us okay so you can see here that um the the command ran successfully and uh, one file with changes so this is the change which made Drupal get file name is changed to the service here. And the error also not coming here since we added that par disable parallel line in your rector.php. So this is how you have to use Drupal rector to update your deprecated code. And this will helps you to update your Drupal to Drupal 10 easily. Okay. And that's it about today's video. If you, if you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.